Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if you are browsing YouTube and you notice that after a while, if you just have it playing in the background, it will pause and you actually have to click a button in order to resume the session. Meaning if, if you're listening to music or some sort of ambient background um, distraction perhaps, and you don't want the videos pausing after so much time. I believe it's like an hour or something like that. If you don't actually go on to the tab and actually do anything, it'll just pause the videos at that point. So if you want to just turn that pausing feature off, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And there is an extension in the Chrome store. So we're going to be using Google Chrome for today's video. Most of you guys are using Chrome, but I'm sure there are other extensions for other browsers that do similar things. Unfortunately, there's no way natively within YouTube itself to turn that off that I'm aware of. So you would have to use a third party extension. So I'm going to have a link to this in the description of the video here. And again, it's called YouTube non stop, I believe. We're just going to wait for it to load here. You see, it's being used by about half a million users here. And if you go down and scroll down, you can see it says video pausing, continue watching, confirmation goodbye. And you can see it does not keep the confirmation box from popping up. It only counters it, such as unpausing the video when pause and, and auto clicking the confirmation box. So pretty straightforward process, guys. You can see it's fairly recently updated and it's not that complicated. You can always remove it if you decide you don't need it anymore. But we're going to go ahead and select add to Chrome. It's going to be able to read and change data on music.youtube.com and youtube.com. Obviously, if you don't want it to have to pause it, and just go ahead and select that extension. I believe it just might refresh the page or do something that would trigger some sort of activity on said page so you won't get that pop up here. So once it's on here, you can just go ahead and click out this little button that comes up. And if you open up extensions, you can see it shows up down here. And if we click on the three little dotted icon, you can see that it will turn on if we head over to youtube.com. I didn't do that right, but you can see that since we are on a YouTube domain here, you can see now it is turned on. So pretty straightforward process there, guys. Do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.